How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be going over how to basically create your own economy plugin. Now I'm only going to go over sort of the basics of it because there is sort of a lot of setting up that you will have to do. Um, it's not hard setting up, it's just a lot and there's a lot that I don't really need to cover in this video because it's really sort of basic Java and, you know, basic coding. But obviously the first thing is make sure you guys have Vault downloaded. And secondly, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. And thirdly, let's get started. So most obviously you don't need Vault to make an economy plugin. It's just really awesome because a lot of plugins are compatible with vault and use vault so if you want to make your plugin versatile use vault and vault pretty much takes care of everything for you as, as far as methods go um like i said you do have to do some setting up but for the most part it's pretty easy so the first thing we're going to do here is we do need to make our economy implementer class um basically what i mean by that is we need to implement economy from vault so let's just go ahead and do that and implement economy okay so first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a new if I can tie it public hash map of UUIDs and doubles which is basically going to be their balance and this is just going to be called player bank and this is just going to be a new hash map and let's just go ahead and set this to public final and then economy implementer inside of here we need to just go ahead and do private economy main plugin equals economy main get instance everyone yells at me for this but it's just quick and easy all right so then in our get balance here we need to actually go ahead and there's a couple different ones here as you can see there's four different get balances so for this one it doesn't use a player so we actually have to make one so we have to just go ahead and say player player equals buck bu buffer yeah bucket dot get player and it's just going to be string s and then what we need to do is get the uuid of that player which is just going to be uuid and this is going to be player dot get unique id then what we can do is we can just go ahead and say return plugin dot player bank dot get uuid and it's going to go ahead and return that and we can copy this for this one here and then what we can do here is we can just sort of get rid of all that, change that to offline player. And now that one's all set. And change this one as well, it's offline player. And then the next thing we're gonna do in here, um, cause this is the only thing we're going to be editing right now, is we're just going to go ahead and edit these deposit players here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do the same thing as before. Let's just copy this right here and deposit player yep there it is so deposit and this is just going to be double old balance and this is going to be plugin oh not player plugin dot player bank dot get uuid and then it's just going to be we're just going to go ahead and say plugin that player bank dot put uuid old balance plus v which is just the new money you can obviously change this to whatever you want it to be you could have this be like uh, deposit amount if you want i'm not going to i'm just going to keep everything the same through here and then let's just go ahead and 
and we don't need to return anything so we can actually just go ahead and return null uh, because nothing actually needs to be returned so let's just go ahead and well you could actually go ahead and return um, well this is an economy response so you could go ahead and return something there um, you don't need to I'm not going to so and then let's just go ahead and copy this and let's just pull it down here as well and then let's do this here as well and this is just going to be getting rid of player and changing this to offline player and again getting rid of where is it oh right here and then let's just go ahead and return null because we don't need to return anything we'll just copy all this we'll take all of this and we're actually going to do one one more thing here and it's going to be in the create account if i can find it here withdraw withdraw create bank well i guess we don't really have to do that but yeah, let's just go ahead and skip that because we don't really need to do that right now. And then let's just go ahead and return null here as well. And as you can see there, it says we got doubles of that, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and create a way for Vault to hook into our plugin basically. So again, let's just go ahead and do private economy main which is plugin equals economy main dot get instance and then we need to go ahead and have a private economy which is going to be provider then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and say public void hook and what we need to do here is we need to go ahead and set provider as a plugin dot and we didn't set it up yet so let's go into our economy main here and let's just go ahead and make a public economy implementer uh, which is a new economy implementer and let's go ahead down here to our instance which is economy implementer equals new economy implementer and then let's go back to vault hook which is plugin dot economy implementer and there you go that's done for there and what we need to do is we need to register the plugin to to vault basically to let it know that this is an economy plugin right so we need to go ahead and say plugin dot get service manager dot register and we need the economy class because that's what we're registering that's basically the backbone of vault more or less the economy side of it we need what we're registering which is this economy then we need the plugin which is just going to be this dot plugin and then we need the service priority which is normal if you use IntelliJ you can pretty much see it it tells us everything right there and we're just going to go ahead and do a console sender here again for anybody who hasn't seen some of my older videos I use console sender because it's a really quick way to see messages instead of having to scan through all that white text I can just set color um, you should however change it to logger after after you're done testing but as far as uh, testing goes I really like it because it's a really easy way to see basically see what's happening and see it really fast and then we just need to go ahead and say public void unhook and this is going to be the same as before except for this time we are going to actually go ahead and say unregister and again it's going to be economy dot class and this dot provider so now this is all done Let's go ahead and fix our imports there. What we need to do now is in our main class here, go ahead and say private vault hook, vault hook. And this is vault hook equals new vault hook. And let's just go ahead and say vault hook dot hook. And this is going to be vault hook dot unhook. And then let's just go ahead and grab this message and put this right in here unhooked from and that way we can just know that it was unhooked as well all right so now that we've done all that what we need to do now is in our commands class here which is 
if you don't have, uh, just go ahead and uh, watch my last video and go ahead and create this whole class here. If not, you can uh, just obviously create your own commands here based on what you want. Um, and what we're just going to do is we're just going to say plugin dot economy implementer. Obviously, we can make the variable there. Uh, I'm just too lazy. And let's just go ahead and export all this now. And let's grab our Minecraft here. And let's just wait for this to show up. Any second now. So I actually forgot one thing, uh, as we need to basically go ahead and make a way for us to detect if the player is in the hash map here. So if player, so if plugin dot player bank dot contains player dot get unique ID if it doesn't contain it we're just going to go ahead and say plugin dot player bank dot put UUID and then oops player dot get unique ID and then we're just going to put a double of zero because they have zero dollars or really you could just do 0, 0.0 and that would work as well and then let's just go ahead and reload so you can see there vault unhooked from econo vault hooked into Econo, you can actually go ahead and change the colors of this that way we know uh, that way it's sort of really defined which one is on enable and which one's on disable so if we go ahead and re-export this again unhooked hooked and if we go ahead and join we can go ahead and do slash Econo balance like deep music and you can see there we have zero dollars in our account but now if we go ahead and do deposit Malik D. Busick one dollar you can see you have deposited one dollar to Malik D. Busick's account and we can go ahead and do balance and you can see there that we now have one balance um, so that's pretty much it guys uh, that is sort of the gist of creating your own economy with plugin like I said if you want to get more in depth you would have to go into your economy Int implementer class and set up all of these different things based on your needs like i said this is only a very simple way a very simple tutorial on how to create your own economy plugin obviously i'm not going to cakewalk you guys through everything because like i said the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory uh obviously also you would want to make sure that when the player like leaves the server or maybe when the value is changed uh, probably more so when they leave the server you want to make a config or configuration that basically saves the player's uh, balance to a config or MySQL or whatever sort of data storage you're using um, but obviously if we go ahead and do reload and if I do balance I have zero dollars because it's been reset so just a note there and I'm loaded now I got a thousand bucks but that's all I got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe also be sure to go to our discord and uh, check it out we got lots of members there uh, if you're having some trouble with your code they can certainly help you there and lastly be sure to go over to patreon.com slash the source code to become a patreon it really helps out we got some guys right now for the most part it's going to be used for the upcoming minecraft server um, but then after all of those expenses are sort of definitely paid for each month it'll be used to sort of start upgrading uh, these videos basically maybe more videos a week uh, higher quality videos you know better graphics and stuff like that so that's all I got for you guys thanks for watching